And here is where I DPS, which is not good, but... Why not? Uh, well, on my head, on your controller, so it wasn't too bad. Where did you say but I, was he in your LOS? Uh, yeah, he was, uh, he was in my LOS, but I was focused on my line hop. So it was kind of like tunnel vision on my part. Yep, and he caught, and he got burnt with uh, three torts, Sigma, and May. Yeah. So that wasn't because you were focusing on DPS, though. That's because you are trying to heal your full health, Reinhardt. Yeah, so yeah, tunnel yeah. vision. Something I need to work on also. Yeah, so I wouldn't think of that so much as tunnel vision. I'd think of that as Hollow actively priority. moving off of bad targets, right? So like as Ana, like as any character, like healers especially, that have multiple responsibilities, um, like, and I consider DPSing as Ana to be a responsibility. Um, you, it's important that you're shifting between them very quickly. And as soon as you recognize that some, like you can't be healing that Reinhardt right then. Like, so it's important to shift off of that quickly onto something else that m you might be able to do. Yeah. Just, uh, uh, just less tunnel visioning and more quickly switching between all the possibilities. So if I trusted that Moira, that Sigma might have lived. What do you mean, trust the Moira? Because Moira was already healing him, and so I was just topping him off. Uh, and so if I had let the Moira top him off, I could have healed the They're not anywhere near each other. The Moira's right here. Your Sigma's up here. I was talking about the Lion Hall. Uh, the Moira heals, heals the Lion Hall. Oh, well, he, he's full health anyway. Oh, he, he is? He needs zero healing right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a hundred percent on his health bar. If their outline is yellow, that means they need heals. Yeah, the green means they're completely full. But like, you have a friendly health bars on. Like, you can see that he's completely full. So like, he's full. Moira's full. May is. You've just shot May, so she's gonna be full right after this dart. So these people don't need assistance unless you can see that an enemy is like quickly approaching them and they need your attention. So it's important that you quickly shift your, like, one as soon as you've 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 checked off Reinhardt, you've checked off May, you've checked off Moira. It's really important to shift your focus to check my other teammates, and then check the enemies yeah, and check for opportunities a, to kill uh, more. I see they have a TP, and I also see High Guard is the obvious place to go. So mm -hmm. that was just bad on my part. So yeah, this is also going to be a theme over the course of the VOD, because I, I watched a few minutes of this earlier. You shoot full health allies a lot. Like, that Reinhardt is full health. So I'm curious why you dropped. Uh, because that my uh, needed heals, and I we I went to save for. Uh, I have a tendency of like my time in low elos of every my team needs priorities go before me. So I have a tendency of dropping and getting into bad positions to heal my team. And then I go for the health back heal. And since everyone's still full health. Okay, now do you know their team comp? Uh, yes. Uh, so full six. Sig, not Sig. Um, May, uh, Symmetra, Hog. Uh, I think I saw Moira. That's about okay. all that, um... And I assume there was a shield tank, so I'm gonna go. Oh yeah, I saw an Orisa, uh, which still as a healer. I want to say a Morsi, but I don't think yeah, there is right. one. Uh, there is no shield tank. Oh, it's a Diva. And they swapped oh, off of Mario. Eh. But my my point is, it's it's uh, over a minute into the game, and you don't know the enemy team comp, right? Even in the VOD review, we don't know the enemy team come. 
So like that's just a thing that you got to do much more is press tab. Like at, every game once it's 15 seconds in be pressing tab. And then between every single team fight, whenever you have the opportunity uh, between every single team fight, press tab and eventually we'll get to like ult tracking the enemy team and everything, but just like watch if any of them have swapped and think about how it changes your play, right? Okay. I can all check a little bit, but not great. So now that we finally have a tab screen to work with, let's talk about our team first, and then we'll talk about the enemy team, okay? So let's start with the healing duo of Ana Moira. Given that we are the Ana, what is Moira good at, and what does that leave us to do? Okay. Moira has a mass amount of healing, mm -hmm. but it's a finite resource. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, I can see Anna as picking up the stack, and so I so Moira is the main heals, and I kind of just pick up the stack when she's out of yeah, uh, resources. Uh, we're good at close range fighting because of all and how yeah. and uh, both DPS. Mm -hmm. And then there's Sigma, who can be close range and like mid loop range, which is a uh, walk as mid range or not walk as mid range. Walk is uh, close range, and his shield can go pretty far. He's good at mm -hmm. taking space. And his balls go pretty far. He can also bounce them, so he's good at, good at clearing corners. Right. So I like what you mentioned about the Moira, that she does a lot of healing. So Ana Moira is a crazy high healing duo, right? Um, Moira's limiting factor, like you said, is that she's on a resource, but she's also distance limited. Her healing spray only goes out 15 meters. So if you can keep an eye on where your Moira is, like when she was standing on the low ground, your top healing priority should be targets who are away from her. So if you see your Reaper on a flank or if you see your Sigma on a flank, those are your top healing priorities because the Moira can't heal them whatsoever. Okay. The other thing, like you mentioned, is that your comp does not do damage at distance whatsoever, right? So if you're going to be looking for anti-nades on the enemy team, it needs to be anti-nades that you can... that your team can, can follow, follow up, up on. on. Right. So they got to be pretty close to your team if you're going for anti nades and you want your team to yeah. follow up on. Um, also, one thing, I can nano the Reaper that we mm -hmm. do just blossom. Uh, yeah. I mean, I could nano the Ryan Hall. Yep. I don't know. Does Nano Sigma do more uh, damage for the ult? No, no, only to the initial 50, but the oh. percentage is locked. It doesn't do more to the percentage. Okay, so, I mean, I could do it, but it's not great. Right. And I don't know much about May. I don't really. Yeah, so I mean, Reaper and Ryan are the like best targets. Immediate. She's hitting a lot of shots like, every single time. I wouldn't nano her. I, I would if not can't. nano May. Yeah. If, it's, if the other team is a pure death ball comp and she can hit her cleave on six people, then it's good. But if, the, you know, Ryan can also hit his hammer on six people and that does more damage. Sure. So. I don't think there is a reason to nano May ever in your comp. So like I, I agree Ryan and Reaper are your two best targets. But the 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 next best target after that is just whoever needs it. And it's it's situational. Because it, it still does the damage reduction, it still does the healing. I go for sleep heal on I think the I think I hit hole. Um and I I just know the hog. I'm in a really bad position because if they turn on me, I'm dead instantly. Right. Uh, and do I should. No, they do not. I have not so shot why... yet. So why do you fire the sleep dart? Uh, because uh, one person is easier to deal with two, and I wanted to get the uh, I wanted to get the sim out of the fight. Oh, but we can get... um, and just we focus get... on the hog. Uh... But in hindsight, it'd be better to sleep the hog. Born a sim, as in born hog, and then that would be good. And I, I could also be that. on the other side because it could be there, and I could be there. Uh, as oh, I feel just like never jumped in the first place, and I could still I'm be up there. Across. And if right. I was up there, I could nade them. You could so being up here is your best option, right? You could have just not jumped in the first place, but we're already down here, right? So we're we're working with the situation that we've got. So you. You try to sleep the sim. You mentioned that sleeping the hog might have been a better option. I think a better option than either of those two is not using your sleep dart right now. Oh, hello? hello? Hi, Virus. Hi. Hey, Virus. So, 
the only thing preventing this roadhog from just walking at you is the threat of your sleep dart. And and then once I blow it, I'm he's dead. just gonna walk at you. Yeah, he can even hook me, and I have like zero chance because if he knows that combo, I won't even I'm have level, time to sleep him. Right. So the I'm glad you mentioned the hook thing because you're standing like quite some distance away from the wall here. If you if you were in, in it, it's only like a meter away. But if instead of here you were standing here, then you can dodge his hook just by going to the left a little bit. But in your current position, I'm not sure it's possible to dodge his hook. It's really close. Yeah. So just hugging yeah. this corner a little tighter will make you much safer. Corners. Oh. Uh... So this rotation is poor. Right. So yeah. during the sim ho hog matchup, we should have been at this corner. But then the the great thing about being at this corner is you're at this doorway. You could have just peeked through this doorway and healed this side of point. Yeah. And then well, you have I an could... instant peek back, right? And then yeah. you're in complete safety again. Rotating mm -hmm. all the way over this way in order to be able to see the point puts you in much more danger. And it takes longer, right? Your main needs your assistance right now, and this rotation takes longer than just looking to your left. You don't even have to move. Right, like you can, you can see the point from here. I know I'm gonna keep him alive here. I'm gonna head out like because I'm not getting here. anything from this. Not because, um, you're not a good teacher, just because it keeps cutting out for me. Okay, we so. can use a different website if you'd like. Oh, no, I'll just catch up with y'all later, okay? Okay, I can get you up later if you want. Okay. So just, um, shoot, I forgot how it is. Um, if you want to talk to me after this, Kitty, and kind of, like, mention, like, what you learned, that would be pretty cool. And then, okay. the celery, if you have the time, maybe we could do, like, a quick play match together. Sure. Okay, so I'll talk with yeah, you uh, uh, after the party with you. Maybe we'll do yeah. a game too together. Okay, cool. So I'll catch y'all later. Okay. Right. Okay. See you, Kelly. Peace out. That was a bad idea rushing forward, and then there I missed a lot of shots on his on his mother. So where's your Ryan? My Ryan hole. I think is golden point. There, golden. He's uh here, golden point mm -hmm. over there. Um, this is a bad position because uh Bap and he will kill me, and it won't even right. be close. Really. Even, okay, so let's pretend this Batiste is not here. Is this a good position? No. Why? They have a sim, and they will teleport up to me. Also, okay, let's pretend that Symmetra is not here. Yeah, also, who can yeah, I... Hmm? Get out of stairs, but it's not great. Sorry, you cut out. I couldn't hear what you were saying. So, I can peek inside and outside of stairs, but it's not the best idea. And also, if I just, like, stay inside of stairs... I can't see anyone besides like right. half the car, which is not great. Right. I mean, I could go up top and then try for a whiskey antidate, but then I have a chance of getting like CC off the high ground and just feeding right. my brains out. So I think the problem with this position, if you were coming over to heal your Moira, your Moira is left. She went this way. Yeah, so I right? should turn. It, this going up here is fine if you did it like when nothing else is going on and you're just rotating to take a high ground. But even if the Baptiste wasn't here, even if the Sim couldn't be here, this is a long rotation, and you just threw a nade and a nano on your Reinhardt because he's taking a lot of damage and he's the only target, so he needs a lot of help. Right? So now you're taking this rotation up the stairs, or you're walking into the stairs to fight the Baptiste. And your Reinhardt needs help, man. He needs help right now. I have people who die in like five seconds. 
Yeah. Wait, no, we have a Moira there, so he should stay alive for a little bit longer, but there still, it's not He's like... got five people shooting him from the enemy team. He yeah, the Moira will not man. sustain him for more than five seconds. Uh, yeah, more than three, honestly, he shouldn't live for. It... Much better, I, I like, if we back up to this point... I wish forward, and that's a bad position. From here, you can heal the Moira. Just pump a shot or two into her. You don't have to walk forwards. And then you can just turn to your left and heal the Ryan. Okay. Right, like the point of this wall is to split the point in half and make it more difficult for you to heal. So once you go and kill this turret... I, I heal that stand, high, man. If you stand right here... You can shoot a shot into the Moira, and you can take one step to your left and heal your Reinhardt. Okay. I can also go that high ground if if I didn't want to heal that Moira, just trusting her to her own devices. If she can heal herself... I mean, I she's critical HP, right and she's fighting somebody, yeah. right? She needs your yeah, help. I would, yeah, I wouldn't do it, but so, that's the option. Even if the Moira didn't need your help, going to that high ground is way too long of a rotation, because you, the Reinhardt needs your help right now, right? The Moira needs the, the next dart, but then right after that, the Reinhardt needs your help. Well, right. like, we shouldn't be on the point out. in the first place, but it's what we're working with, right? Like, high ground's great, but we're already here. So, listen, I should never drop off. I should have not dropped off that high ground. That yeah, but that was like a, 60 seconds ago. Yeah. It, it, we're yeah. working with what we got. So, you, I think you end up in this hallway because you're holding W while you press M1. Right? You. Oh shit, I went backed up a little bit too far, my friend. I like that you kill the turret because your Reinhardt's not going to do it. But you can shoot the Moira from this angle. There's no reason to hold W right now. Right? Yeah, it's a bad habit of mine. Um, I'm the aggressive even when I play Halo. So then the rest of this is just mechanics that'll come with playing the game more. Just have better aim, forehead. How do win games? Have better aim. <laughs> For aim, you should really just go into try hard FFAs, practice for 10, 20 minutes a day. That's what really oh, Yeah, there's music that starts playing at this point, isn't there? Yeah, accidentally. So I didn't notice this at a ton of other points in the VOD, but it's indicative to me of an aim problem that I used to have. Of, um, Josh kind, uh, huh? <laughs> Sorry, coffee. what was it? Uh, coffee just annoys me. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not a fan either, but it's all personal preference. Um, you move your arm just because you're clicking the mouse, right? Like you spaz your arm or you spaz your wrist just because you're clicking. And I know it's because you you line up the shot on this um, on this teleporter, and then you just you flick away from it just because you're like, oh, I'm I'm doing a scope shot, and I flick when I do scope shots. So you're you're not flicking because you need to get to the target. You're just you're spazzing uncontrollably, which is a pro big problem that I used to have like six to twelve months ago. I that was like the biggest thing that I was working on was like intentional micro aim. Um, yeah, you've already lined up the shot. Just shoot. There's no reason to add anything else here. Can I ask a question? See that right there? Hey, How you flicked away from it? Mm -hmm. Celery. Can you hear TBK Celery? Huh? TBK yeah. want to ask a question. Oh yeah. Uh, sorry, just a quick question. How did you work on uh, on that aim, like on on not unintentionally micro uh, aiming? Um, playing the game and making that my specific goal. Like I recognized that that was the thing that was that was like my biggest issue at the time. So when I was quote unquote practicing, right? Like I was playing deathmatch, I was playing quick play, I was playing comp, I was screaming. Um, that's the thing that I made my priority focus. And okay. it just takes hours of playing. How did you work? How did you recognize when you're doing it? Because half the time, well, ninety-nine nice. percent of the time, I don't even recognize what I'm doing. Oh yeah, sorry for my brother. 
I mean, you'll end up hitting more shots when you stop doing it, <laughs> is the easiest way to tell. Um, uh, VOD review is another great way to like to not to like to objectively notice it. It's after the fact, which is not as helpful. Um, let's see. Um, I, don't know, I you can just kind of feel it, right? Like it's. I don't know. I played on a relatively low sense, so I guess it's it, it's much more noticeable. Like it's a it's a bigger movement. It's like why 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 the heck did my arm just spaz? Um, I have a ten sensitivity. You did good. What's your DPI? Uh, my DPI is default. I have not been able to figure out how to change it. I got a laser mouse. No, a logic tech mouse. There are it's a bunch of different mice have a bunch of different. Yeah. Yo, anyway, I think it's, it's like eight hundred probably... or something. It's it's not a it's it's not super important. Um, it. <sighs> There's not really a tip or trick to it. You should be able to notice, like, on each shot that you're taking, it's like, well, was that intentional or was that just I moved because I was taking the shot, right? Sure. Um, and the so there's not really a trip tip to noticing it. The biggest trick that I found for not doing it in the first place is your eye placement, right? That your eyes should never be on your crosshair; it should always be on the target. Um. And just like thinking of your um, of your aim as if you're operating a camera, right? Lock if you're a cameraman and you want to focus the shot, like lock your your actual eyeballs onto the target that you want to shoot, and then pan your camera so that their head is centered in the shot. Okay. So, it, which makes you think about like our. Like it makes you actively think about the direction in which you need to move your mouse. If that makes okay. sense. And I wake her up, which is my death. I die here because I wake him up too early. Okay. He doesn't. I was going to mention it, but you you got it. So. Yeah, I knew that once I woke him up, I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm screwed. Yeah. <laughs> that was a misclick, misclick, my bad. Yeah, I just back out of that. Mm -hmm. That's good. And just barely catch the elevator. Your sick man ends up wasting his ult here. Let's we'll skip past this. I, I think I get headshot by a May heal. Because, mm -hmm. like, where, where I am. So, this I is the shot. same issue as earlier when you were clicking on your Reinhardt instead of healing your Sigma, where you're clicking on a full health McCree who's not taking any damage instead of clicking on the enemy May. Right? They patched out Honest pre healing like almost a year ago at this point. Like he hasn't taken any damage, and you've wasted five clicks on him now. Six clicks. Now he's taking damage. So that death there is a little bit reaction time. Like, you were peeking the angle way too long. Um, like you, it's good to go for cheeky shots pre-fight, but the fight was starting, and you were your tank line was effectively behind you, right? Yeah. Like it's comp, you you can't like teach everyone proper positioning in like the three minutes that you have, so you just got to kind of go with the flow of where your tank line takes the fight. And once your Reinhardt comes onto the screen, this is. Uh, I, I'm way too open there. If the fight was here, and this is the enemies, and you're looking down at them, I think this is fine. But with how flat of an angle that they're taking on you, that they're shooting I, you really easily, I think this is not fine. Does that make sense? Yeah. My yeah. reaction time is an issue, as yeah. I will tell you. 
well, so I think the first issue is that you peaked this angle way too long, right? Because it's a really flat angle for them, so it's really easy for those his uh, shots. I suppose if they were standing like down here and they'd have to shoot straight up at you, then it's harder for them to hit the shots. But yeah, it's a flat also, angle. It's so missing. after the pre-fight's over, um, and your Reinhardt hasn't taken space, and the fight and the enemy's over here, it's just way too long peaking the angle. Yeah. The second thing <laughs> is after you get shot, it's just a, a matter of reaction time because your Mo there's no way your Moyer heals at you. You just need to like look at the floor immediately and nade. Right, it's the it's the follow up that kills you, and it's a small window. I almost wasn't going to mention it. So right here, your nade needs to be thrown, but it's a little slow. I don't I don't even think most Ana players hit the nade that fast. So it's. I like that you're holding the corner of the jail here. So you know how we talked earlier about on first point about being close to the wall and being able to duck around the corner? This yeah. is a good example. This is this is excellent. Thank you. I like that you heal the Moira first. So you heal the Moira because she has the critical symbol, but then you go back to healing the Rhine, who's still full health, yeah. right? It's mainly since he's in battle. Yeah. And... He's getting 140 healing per second from the Moira Coalescence, though. Right. Yeah, if she goes off and like DPS DPS is with it and abandons your Reinhardt, then yeah, sure, show him a little love. But she should be able to keep everybody up, right? Like she's not looking at the McCree, so maybe he will need a little help if he gets low health. But she's looking at everybody else. So this is a great opportunity for you to, I, to turn aggressive because your Moira is going to keep everybody up. Okay. Toggle priority is not a great uh, um, part of me, but it's something I'm working on. I try, okay, the, I try to save the. I try to save the fail because yeah. she's really vulnerable when on things. So I just there's... pump in some shots preemptively because they're gonna shoot her. Um, it didn't work because they defense makers her and I couldn't heal. But how did I not? Kill that's what my thought process was. Right. Um, I like the idea. Uh, Diva Matrix it so unlucky. Um. So there's two small. Well, there's a there's one like 90% good positioning that could be 10% better, and then two other small mistakes that I see here. So the first one is your initial shot on the Pharah, is you rush it, right? Right, this is just rushed. If you take an extra tenth of a second here, then you hit this dart. But um, now you're now... So like I'd rather you wait the extra tenth of a second here than wait like 0.75 seconds or whatever it is for the next dart to come up. Okay. The second thing here is that you use your cooldowns in the wrong order. What really needs it out here is a nade. Nade then see because nade has a smaller cooldown. It's also healing. Well, yeah, not not because of like it, it's not like there's a definitive order of like sleep the nade or nade then sleep. It's just these people are low health. They need a grenade. Also, you sleep right the wall, but you know. Yeah, I just don't know where to position you because if I position, if I position too far, I'll get shot by all these and possibly hooked. Mm -hmm. If I go back, it'll be too long of a rotation. So I'm just like kind of indecisive here. What I would have preferred myself to do is I would have gone back and like or gone through this corner mm -hmm. and just like hug the wall there. But it was just my indecisiveness that where I was kind of just like going back and forth here. Right. So like this position is good. It's if you see an opportunity, it's good to fall back here or fall back here if you have time, right? So I I think ideally you can I mean you can also just use these as cover, right? True. This is this is perfectly good cover the, where you were at. The doorway back here is perfectly good cover. Since they were aggressing on you, they, they were taking space. Maybe you need to fall back a little bit. This is a longer fallback where you lose LOS on your team for a bit. But I think the they're all like good positions. I don't like this. This one is perfectly fine. The one you're at. 
the the problem is that you just don't shoot your teammates for like five to ten seconds. It's not that it's not that you miss. It's that you throw the nade. Yeah. I assume they die. I assume they die. And, and when try. I go back, I'm too late. Well, then you're very just... slow HP. Right? Yeah. She's got 399 health or something, right? And your Moyer is, was very close to four as well. Not that this fight is necessarily winnable, but like... I mean, if you're backing out, you should run away, but like, you're, it's defense and your your teammates are on the cart. You should heal them, right? Yeah. What is this? I don't know. Um, I have no clue why I did that. I should I be retreating just... more because I could. Because if that hog starts to push up, I will hook and I shall die and I shall be staggered. And that's yeah. gonna suck. Mm -hmm. So I kind of just like sit here doing nothing. As Zion says, there is no downtime, downtime in Overwatch, and I make downtime for no reason. Yeah, I mean, the other thing is just like you're you're just shooting your teammates coming out of spawn, right? Like, it'd be fine if it was trading off or something, like if it was getting value, but they're just coming out of spawn. God, that dude sounds exactly like my voice. <laughs> you're gonna die in this position, or you should die in this position, right? I did it because I was swiped by a health pack, and I was close to a wall, and I'm like, well, my my guys are on call, I might as well heal them. But yeah, it's a stupid position, I should retreat I mean, more. They're, they're on the yeah, other side I of the wall. Who? Yeah. I, um, third point, I, of, I often uh, take high ground and just like sit there, so that's where I should be rotating to. So I should be is, uh, keep high ground, um, make sure no one's flanking me. I mean, oh, let's see. Yeah. So, well, my point is, like, at this moment, you you need to make the decision to either go die cart, because if you're going to die anyway, it's better to slow down the cart, right? Which yeah. is what some of your teammates are doing. Or if you think you can get away, get away, which is what you start doing, but then you hesitate, right? Yeah. As soon as you hesitate, you're no longer going to get away, and you might as well have died cart. My industry is nifty indecisiveness is uh thing too yeah as you well see i mean more, you make the decision immediately way. you're you're extremely decisive here which is great it's just then like once you get over here you question yourself yeah so like the decisiveness just, actually was excellent yeah i just need to work on any decision is better than your decision like you're going you're going you're going this is great and then you pause and think right yeah This I should have not survived there, asked. but... <laughs> and that was a misclick. Yeah. Maybe, I tried uh, to get up here. Maybe that so it's not no so reason. close to your hello button. I saved the diva. So the other thing is, how long you've had your nano for like ever? Yeah, I I and this is the exact same point. I don't know why that I in when I was watching the video earlier and like also now this is when I noticed at the same time. I don't remember why. We're at five forty. How long have you had it? Oh, you uh, used it once. Yeah, you I used, yeah, yeah, I used on first it. Point. Yeah, yep. And then I've kept it for like the whole entire second point. Oh, you haven't had it forever. You just built it again. Oh yeah. Uh, so oh, that's why I so, yeah, that was partly my issue for not building it so quickly, and it's partially partially my issue for holding it so long. I only built like two nanos at this point. I built it one and then I think I nano when we get a bashing at the end, it's like thirty seconds left and I nano him. Mm. And that's it. Uh, I don't nano much. And then I try to get a heal and fail. 
I could have nano Theo, and that yeah, I w that I would have thrown it right here. Helpful. In hindsight, he got two kills, so it wasn't necessary. But I would have nanoed right here. Yeah. I would have I would have probably nanoed even earlier, like right Sleep now. Sleep as a nano. That makes sense. Because not not like if this was like if this hallway was cut off and it was just you and the McCree and the Diva, like you kill her easy, right? But the McCree's in a great spot to then shoot the rest of their team with the nano, right? I think it's a waste if it's just the three of y'all. But it's not just the three of y'all. The McCree can get good value out of this here. And I went away. Uh, why do I leave peek that? Yeah. No, I don't. I would peek it, and I should have been been hooked because I think so you repeak this just a half a second too early right you had one second on your sleep cooldown you don't need to repeak it until you have your sleep cooldown yeah you and don't need I to repeak jump... it at all right he's if he's gonna chase you like draw him into your team and then sleep him where the team can kill him yeah or if if he chases you fast and you need to sleep him here then run away yeah I think I sleep uh, him and I went away yep GG's. that was a lucky and then Jeez, you don't I, run away. Now, yeah, now is a great opportunity for him to just chase you, right? Because you haven't yeah. gotten anywhere. He doesn't chase you, but that's his fault, not yours. So that's that's not twice in the same vibe that you slept the Roadhog and then immediately woke him up. So yeah. just keep that in mind. Hello? Oh, is it just somebody in the background? Yeah, I see it. Fine. Oh, okay. I didn't know if somebody wanted to jump in. Okay. All right. So, ignoring the diva bomb, let's go back like exactly one second. You remember your like excellent positioning by the jail on second point? Yes. I should. I wish be, you were I doing something excellent right now. <laughs> I should be over by like that wall, or I should be that high ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just anything but the middle of the street, right? Yeah, this is mid will kill me, and I should die instantly. I am lucky that I don't. Um, mm -hmm. I'm close enough that I get behind a wall for when the D1 comes, but right. that's mostly luck. That was another instance of the flicking just because you're doing a scope shot, by the way. That was a waste of Nana. And I turn back to sleep, which is a bad idea. Right. So this is so densely packed. Um, I I hate spending too much time and going like frame by frame by frame, but like so much stuff happens in this like three second clip. Um, firstly, Nade won't save anybody from Diva Bomb, so that's a waste. Unless your Zarya was low and she needed it. No, she was full health. Oh, she got low. I guess it's... No, who got low? Yeah, the Reinhardt. I think it's no. the Reinhardt. Reinhardt is full HP. Zarya's right here. Mercy's right is, here. Uh, this is one of your DPS. Oh, it's a... Uh, uh, um, Glee. Why do I turn back here? Yeah, yeah so this is a, a much better opportunity to peek left than to peek main. Because right? yeah. your team's no longer holding this space, it's not safe for you. I should, uh, I mean, I won't get hooked because of whole hog, but I, if he wasn't ulting, I would have gotten hooked and I would have fed my brain. So whole hog is the next thing that I wanted to bring up. There's something you could have done about it. Slept him. Mm -hmm. Roadhog is big and he's fat, and when he whole hogs, he's really slow. Like, Take your time, line up the shot, take the easy sleep, and laugh at him for ulting and not tracking your cooldowns, right? Right here. That torn back was a mistake. I would have probably died anyway, but still. Yeah, you definitely would have died anyway. So, I mean, I guess you almost got around the corner. I don't blame you for trying to run away. So, I don't blame you for trying to run away in that situation. However, if we were in this location to begin with, right, and our fallback path 
Let's see when your camera pans. And your fallback path would take you this way then? It takes you around the RV and you're in much better cover, right? Or if you were on the right side and you're and you ducked to the right side from the diva bomb, if you're just already hugging a wall, your fallback path is much safer. There's cover on the sides. But it all stems from the fact that you're in the center here, that you don't have a you don't have a good place to fall back. Right. Wow. So if you if you took the positioning that you had great positioning on the jail on second point, if you did the same sort of thing here, not only does it like is it good for this team fight and it helps you save you from the diva bomb, but it also like give you a really like you can run behind the RV, you can run behind the boxes. It like it helps you even later in the fight as well. Of course, I come across, which is the longest yeah. way to rotate. The most heartbreaking part is you were there. You were so close. You, you were within inches of greatness. And then here, you don't have your ultimate, so you might as well swap to a faster character. Might as well be Lucio or Moira, right? I think about that, but I just don't. Okay, I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, try try doing instead, I guess. <laughs> uh, so this is another case of WM1, right? Yeah, why am I on call? It's a waste. There's already like two, three people on call. Yeah. I, I only needed them. Uh, yeah. Why am I here? I should be peeking all V. Yeah. I'm trying to get it like to not go back four seconds, just go back one. This is a great position. This is not a great position. And that is freedom. I think I big boy in there, like in a moment. And then I realize I'm just like stupid and I feel. Don't listen to this guy. Bastion shouldn't sit on the cart. I like your position here. Um, you're shooting full health teammates again. And you're not checking your flank because of it, right? So yeah. just like on first point, like obviously like you're one of the two healers healing a people as a priority but once you know their full health your attention needs to instantly shift to what else can i be doing right so you you could be looking for damage on the enemies by taking a couple steps through that door you could be checking your flank if you don't want to take that hard of a flank it's a, it's a little bit risky you can look at the rest of your teammates because maybe one of those four people needs health but this is just not what we like to see any right side she's half you check the flank there, that's good. Give right side. So you're clicking faster than you're mentally processing these shots. Right. Yes, and then I blow my sleep uh, a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think. Do you hold down left click when you're scoped in here? Or do you press it individually? Uh um when it's just like uh when when am I heal, I would have hold down uh I would have hold down. Yeah, like but, in this um, clip. Are you yeah. holding down right now I'm, or are you clicking several times? I'm holding down. Okay. I think you need to not do that. Like maybe it works for some people. Uh, generally really advised against, right? Um, it's fine for tracking characters, but Ana's not a tracking character, right? I think, I think you hit fewer than 50% of these shots. So, like, yeah, you get the maximum fire rate by holding it down, but you would have hit more darts if you hit, if you only shot half as many times and took the time to hit them. So, the 
Yeah, so out of your first six starts, you hit two. So if you just slow down, I think you can hit four or five and hit 100% of your darts. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing blowing my sleep. I'm like, yes, I'm going to sleep to that porch. I mean, you're trying to beat up for the hog, right? Um, Or the diva? Yeah. Uh, I... Yeah. I I actually, I thought... I know. I'm most... What I can remember, I thought the Bastion was Zeus, and I was trying to sleep my Bastion. All so, the Lord. Yeah. What? Sleep your own Bastion? Yes, I was not sinking through. I I was overwhelmed. I uh, Morsi's uh, mm. You, she's gonna need some help in a second because she just used Bubble. Uh, Bastion is getting uh, pressure, like, and that's just a massive character like you can't see who's who. So I just blow my sleep into it. It's a waste. Okay. Yeah. Agree. <laughs> it's good that you know, though. Were you out of bullets here? No, I'm most likely yeah, was I'll not. I'll protect you. I'll I... protect you. No, you ran out. You ran out. Oh. Shoot, I hit a button. I made it in me, too. Um, this is a great opportunity for scope shots, though. It's a little too far for unscope shots, and nobody's pressuring you. So you do end up hitting the Bastion, which, like, that's good. I'm, it's impressive. I, I suck at scope. Sh or I, I suck at unscope shots, like, really badly. I'm not sure, like, I would hit that 100% of the time. But, like, Diva's not looking at you. As If you had checked your flank, then you'd no, you're safe to scope in. You hadn't checked your flank, but we already talked about that. Um, this is an excellent opportunity to scope in and heal your teammates. I wait to yeah, end here. Why? I, probably, I, I thought it was way too much on the table. I I wait to end you hole because it does damage and I don't want her like and I thought like one of my DPS would go up and finish her and so I thought I would help him out but I focused way too long on that diva when you so when like, you say go up five and other characters like what do you mean uh well we have a doomfist and mm -hmm. so I thought doomfist would go up and finish her like use uppercut and then uh slam and just then punch her into a wall uh. Well, that was about my thought process, but then I know like five of my uh, the rest of my team, and I focus way too much on Diva, relying on Morsi to heal them, which is a bad idea. I mean, the fight's over, right? So, Diva was their last person that needed to be killed. Yeah. So the other thing is you don't call it out, right? Yes. You anti her because you expect Doomfist to go kill her, but like, how is Doomfist supposed to know to go kill her if you don't tell him? So, um, that's similar to to first point. Remember when you uh, <laughs> when you threw the nade on the high ground at people who your your short range people couldn't uh, couldn't do damage to. The Bastion ends up killing the Diva because she's stupid, it's not because it was a good nade. <laughs> she shouldn't have uh, peaked a Bastion. I should be no. flanking. I should be frankly wait here, uh, wait here, and then there's this bastion. Right. I, at least from what I can remember. Before and... that point even happens, though. Tell me what... Oh, shoot, I've gone back a little bit too far. Tell me here... Wait. I'm for... I'm healing now. for, uh, targets. Targets... Like those, those shots the Reinhardt was half health, but these shots, two, three, four, four, five. Four. I should be checking my flank, and then I might be, I might have gone anti before this fight, mm -hmm. um, and that could have been helped. Yeah. I mean, it's it's certainly like this is a high value flank. If if you're completely unchecked and you can land a six man nade on the enemy team, that's really high value. Um, I think the, the clip management is the worst part, though. Because now, at this exact moment, you're reloading, and the enemy Reinhardt is on your Reinhardt and about to do damage. 
right? Yeah. So it's anticipating the start of the fight and managing your clip accordingly. I like the nano. Now here's your uh, flank, right? Yeah. Why do I just like not save him and run away? That I I think I die heal, and if I do, if I don't, I should. I really deserve to die heal. So let's talk about the Reaper versus Ana matchup a little bit. Okay. I die. Well, <laughs> <laughs> other than that, okay, I got you support. <laughs> just kill him. Um. So specifically about like let's focus on guns and abilities, right? So let's let's pretend that. Let me. I was just trying to get it in frame. Shoot. Get in there. This one. Nice. All right. Oh shoot! You hit tap. Okay. Let's. So this room that you're in, right? Pretend it's like a tiny, tiny room. And there's no doors and there's no windows, and it's just the two of you, right? Okay. So what do you, what do you have at your advantage, and what does he have at his? Uh, what what does he have to work with? Uh, first of all, he has shotguns. Mm -hmm. He has waste. Um, his teleport isn't gonna do much, but he has it. But it's not going to do anything. I have sleep, but if he uses waste and I, uh, but he could use waste to dodge that. And I use anti, which he's not going to get any extra heal. So it's, I mean, it's going to do some damage and it's going to heal me. But it's well, it does do a hundred uh, health for me, so it will help a, a decent amount. But yep. uh, if he, if we both, if he uses waste and I use sleep to like, counter each other, I use anti, I but him. he has shotguns on me, so I. If he headshots me, I'm dead in like one two clicks. Right. So there's not much you can. I mean, you could you could run away, right? But in in so like not in this specific situation, but just in general uh, on a fighting a reaper, the interesting not a good idea. Well, <laughs> but yeah, it's the situation you're in right now, right? So the interesting interaction comes from your sleep dart, your your grenade, and his wraith, right? Because he can dodge either of them if he's quick enough, right? If you sleep dart him, he can wraith and like it just goes through him. Or if you anti him, he can wraith and then come out of wraith form and he's not anti'd anymore. But so that was the support of heals would be a waste since then I could just sleep him afterwards and then uh, I could have the, if I could I could run away, but if I couldn't I would have the ability. I could like we could wait for like five yeah, seconds. I have a sleep, and I could shoot him, like, punch him, a, and I would have, and, I, and he's about like half health, hopefully. Right. So yeah, that that's exactly where I was going. Right. So you anti him, right? And if he burns his wraith, then he can't dodge your sleep, right? And you can just run away, right? Like the way he can dodge your sleep is by using his wraith form. But you've anteed him, and, and then like in the next he comes to this corner, oh, he could waste, and, and, and then I can ball, keep him, and, and he loses. I I don't think killing him is an option, All right? Like the goal I think has to be to land a sleep the sleep dart. Yeah, if, to yeah, if I can land a sleep dart, I win by running away. Right. But you rush it. You rush it so fast. Right? Like, he's not even in your field of view when you start the sleep dart button. Yeah. Well, being pressured is a main issue for me. Mm. I just tend to panic. And uh, that leads me to making mistakes. If you give me enough room, I'll make a... I make a lot less mistakes, but if you pressure me, I just go full dead brain and I sleep walls and such. Oh boy, would you not enjoy dive meta? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So it's understanding the re relationship between the characters, and then on top of that, even regardless of the relationship between the characters, you you basically just press these buttons at the same time and hope for the best, right? Just like the yeah. shots that we were taking earlier here on our Zarya and our Doomfist, just slow down one tenth of a second, right? Because like it's great that you you hit the sleep dart button super fast and you could have slept in really fast, but it didn't connect. So it's okay if it hits him a tenth of a second later if it actually hits, right? 
I do like that you ran away though. <laughs> Not I everyone would just run away. <laughs> I was lucky and the mostly healed me. So I kinda just like stay by that health pack and we'll and uh well uh doom fist and uh we will just go at it. And since there's not enough time, I am actually they just like just get a Discord server. You know, they just like so, get to each other out and Discord he doesn't touch. I like that you're prioritizing health packs, but Reaper was right up here, right? What's stopping him from just coming down and left clicking you once and killing you? I didn't think about that. Uh, right, because if he if he's after... falling straight down, he sees your entire head hitbox. A left click does 140 damage. If all that hits your head, it does 280 damage, and no matter how many health packs you have, you're dead. True. That, I did not so, think that was true. You started running away. You and I, and I complete the process of running away. Yeah. Right? Or I, I'm like, I went away. Checking that he's not following you. Yeah. I'm like, I should run away for a second. Instead of, I should stop running away. Yeah. But it's not even five seconds. <laughs> Now, luckily, he goes for your Doomfist instead, so you get to live, which was nice of him. I mean, Doomfist will punch him in a wall if he doesn't. If the um, Doomfist, I mean, if he doesn't waste it, he could waste it, fall down on me, and just headshot me, as mm. in night night me, and Doomfist can't do anything about it. Yep, just takes one left click. Um, and I go night night. Do we want to do the the attack round as well, or I, it too. seemed like a lot of the uh, a lot of the same stuff from the defense was on the attack when I watched earlier. Okay, that's, uh, that's it's up to you. Know. Yeah, I don't I don't see a lot of value. Like we've we've already spent an hour on the VOD. I don't want to like <laughs> spend two hours pen, uh, hitting home the same points. Okay, I, mean, I, I, I would go part of it. So um, whenever I'm like 